Hi viewers, welcome to the next section of the course, Visualizing Continuous Data. Our objective with visualizing time series or continuous data is to display visualizations that assist viewers in understanding the magnitude and direction of the series. In this section, we will generate a candlestick plot, interactive candlestick plots, decomposed time series, violin plot, quantile quantile plot, density plot, and simple correlation plot. Then we will plot a regression line. Finally, we are going to construct a box and whiskers plot. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with generating a candlestick plot. In this video, we are going to generate candlestick plot. We will also explore some of the useful options available with the packages, such as adding bands, moving average, and volume information. Candlestick plots have been widely used to display time series data related to financial markets. They are a combination of line charts and bar plots. A single candlestick is used to display the high, low, opening and closing prices for a single security for a given time. The difference between the open and close is shown by the size of the body. The highest and lowest trade prices are indicated by the upper and lower wick respectively. A wick is the straight bar at the top and the bottom of the real body. Candlestick plots are used for technical analysis of the market. They help in understanding trend. Many a time technical traders would use candlestick plots to observe and predict reversals in trends. If the size of the candlestick starts getting smaller, it may indicate a dying strategy. They are widely used in financial markets, foreign exchange markets, and commodity markets. In order to generate a candlestick plot, we require to install and load the QuantMod package. Let's install QuantMod package using this line of code. You can see that it's being installed. Now we will load this package by applying library function. You can suppress the warning messages by typing suppress warnings library quant mod instead of library quant mod. In the videos of previous sections, we imported our data from a CSV file saved in our current directory. However, in this video, we will import our data using the get symbols function in the quant mod package. The get symbols function loads data from various sources, and for the purposes of this video, we will define the character vector prices which hold the actual equity tickers of Microsoft and Facebook. So this is the line of code to import price file using get symbols function. Let's run this code. The only argument required by the get symbols function is a list of symbols defined. The get symbols code will download two sets of data, namely Facebook and Microsoft. Let's run this function. Here you can see that both the datasets have been downloaded that is Microsoft and Facebook. The data downloaded will be in the XTS format. XTS stands for Extensible Time Series. We can explore the data using the head function by typing head MSFT or head FB. Let's print the data. You can see the data of Microsoft. Similarly, you will see the data of Facebook by printing the head FB function. The data consists of six columns, that is open, high, low, close, volume, and adjusted. The data is downloaded from Yahoo Finance. Next, we will generate a simple candlestick plot using the chart series function. Here is the code to apply this function. The chart series function uses the XTS format to read the file and plot the candlestick. The first argument in the function is MSFT, which is data in the XTS format. The name argument can be used to provide a heading to the plot. In order to remove the clutter and make the plot more readable, we will suppress the tick using minor dot ticks equals false. We have also colored our background in white using the theme argument. Time to observe the output. So let's run our plot. Awesome! You can see here the plot, which is generated using Microsoft dataset. The candlesticks generated with the QuantMod package either have the candlesticks filled with red to show a loss or green to show gains. A gain is identified when the daily opening price is higher than the closing price. So there's more to it. The chart series function can further be exploited to bar plots and line plots as well. We are using this line of code. Each line will generate a different plot in R. Viewers should note that they can also plot various technical trading tools along with the plot using the TA argument. 
Now we will run this code and view the output. You can view the plot in full screen mode. Let's run the second chart series and you can view the changes in the plot. Next, running the third line of code. Here is the output. Finally, running the fourth chart series. In order to view the entire list of available TA options, viewers can refer to the technical analysis and chart series function available on the QuantMod website. The QuantMod website can be accessed at this link. The link provides various examples of using the chart series function. The website also provides various examples, manuals, and candlestick examples. One can learn about the XTS at this website. Historical prices for Facebook downloaded from Yahoo Finance can be observed at this website. In this video, we have generated a candlestick plot 